It seems so evident. You know you were a virgin. Now you're three months pregnant. And Can't so, plus a real live performance, performance by. Did you come cool, Todd? Chicka, chicka, chicka. The 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show, live at the Polish American Hall in Bayonne, New Jersey, at Broadway and 22nd Street. For tickets and info, call 201-620-1298.
All right, y'all. Welcome to the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show, and I am your most gracious host, Cool Tide Chicken Chicken G. And along for technical support, engineering this ride, he is Like Your Cyrus. And together, we are flying a single on 15mofe.com. Welcome. Lachie, how are you, my brother? All right. And I'm okay, too. I'm all right. Um, this weekend was pretty good. I was at a wedding of a, of a very close friend near and dear, the lovely Miss Cindy Blue, also a model, too, four-figure model, I might add. Well, she and Keith tied the knot. And I think it's it's either their last name now is Pizer or Pizer, and I apologize. I didn't um I didn't get a wedding um thing yesterday. The wedding thing, what you call the wedding thing when it it, it got your name and stuff in it. The wedding, uh, what is it called? The, not the invitation, but like the thing, like the wedding program. The thing. Pause. <laughs> the thing. The thing. <laughs> Pause. Yeah, the wedding program. I didn't get it, so this is why I don't know the last name. And the lady kept saying the name wrong. I think one time she's like Pizer, Pizer. She probably called him Pizza at one time, but I know she messed up several times. But it was um real sweet. Congratulations to y'all. I really mean it. Two great people. I think it's real nice when two great people, their paths cross. No matter where you at in this world. But your paths cross. That's that ceremony love. Shout out to Rod Grizz and Mr. Hall Shapiro. Yeah, that's the song we play at the top of the show. But yeah, um, something weird was happening with the mic though yesterday. I'm like, I right, how many, how many times does this Reverend them preach the ceremony? Cause I think he kept cutting off the mic, and then when he wasn't cutting it off, he was holding the mic like this. You see what I'm doing right, right? Like, how are you covering the mic like that? Like, how many ceremonies have you did? Well, I don't think he was that loud because every time the mic cut off, well, then maybe he was loud because I can hear him from my vantage point. But, you know, and this is the point. This is, I'm glad, brothers, this is a good point for the 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. I need these artists to hold the mic like this. Hey, Lash, can you, um, Get a close up, and I'm even gonna turn it sideways. Hold the mic like this, y'all, please, and not like this. I want to get shot out. And thank you to my mother. No, hold it, hold it right. If you claim to be an MC, this is what you do, right? So I'm assuming this is what you do. Hold it right. You know, dress the part and act the part. Hold the mic right. Yeah. So once again, shout out to Keith and Cindy. The food was good. The, the pasta was good. Them Swedish meatballs was on fire. I don't know, you know, I don't mess with seafood anymore. So I didn't taste the seafood of rice, but people was talking about it. So I think um, it was safe to say that was a smash. Everything was good. It was a lot of woman, a lot of beautiful woman. And shout out to the person in the gray. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, shout out to you, girl. Back y'all for days. I don't know whose wife, and I hope she was of age. I'm assuming she was of age dressed like that. And hopefully she was nobody's wife. But if she was, I was looking. But, you know, that's what that's what these are for. That's what these shades are for, to be discreet. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Yeah. Oh, and look, with that crazy sound effect, it was so loud. Let you know how much I hate sound effects. It was a reminder, too, for me to put my headphones on. Yeah. And look, and he give a thumbs up. He like, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Rob, we need that camera on this, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> we need it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, all, all the pretty women up in there. There's a lot of light skin flavors up in there. Anybody know me know, knows I, I like them on the light side. Although the woman with the gray, she wasn't that light. But yeah, so light is right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about the issue with Eric Garner, R.I.P. 
Okay, the medical examiner has concluded, yeah, it's a homicide. So somebody that effed up is someone that effed up big time. Are y'all going to finally arrest these people? I don't know who does it, um, does that, but the officer who's, um, who did the, um, the chokehold or like um, the, new, the alleged choke. No, it's no longer alleged. It's a chokehold, which it was saw for the video. If you saw the video, yeah, the chokehold was um what what took the brother out. R.I.P. I hate to say this, but this is the truth. Somebody's about to be filthy rich. What I want the family of Mr. Garner to do, and I mean they don't need the blessings of. Cool top, jigga jigga G. I'm just saying because it's the right thing to say. And it's what I feel. Sue the draws off the NYPD. Sue them. That money is not going to bring back your father, your, your, your husband, your brother, your son. It's, it's not going to do that. But you know what? Make them pay like they weigh. They want to go around choking out. Innocent people? So what? He was selling illegal cigarettes. Is that what you get for selling a cigarette? Like, come on, no. Sue them. Oh, and here goes some other crazy stuff. I forgot the guy's name. He, he had an um, unusual name. The guy who got the video of them choking out Mr. Eric Garner, they got him. They caught the cops got him. But, I mean, we really shouldn't be surprised. The cops got him. They arrested him. And no matter what they arrested him for, they, they, they said they got him on a gun and all this. I think the big picture is that they were stalking this man. They're not going to say that, but sound like it's what they was doing to me. Like, oh, so you want to you wanna be up there taking pictures, video, posting it? We got you. And I know this was an endless pursuit to catch this man. So I know they stayed up night and day, day and night. Track is every move. They probably planted the gun, but y'all ain't hear that from me, did y'all? Yeah. Supposedly, this guy took the gun and put it in a chick's waistband. Does that make sense to anybody out there? Because it don't make sense to me. What criminal takes a gun, tucks it in his chick's waistband? First of all, she's crazy if she even lets someone tuck a loaded weapon into her waistband. Second of all, she's equally as crazy for doing this in public. Wow. Yeah, that, that's crazy. And what about the the fire game? What they call it? The fire? Oh, the fire challenge. Now, I'm here to tell y'all, America slash worldwide, I don't care who don't like it. I'm going to say it anyway. If you do... The fire challenge, okay, which consists of you taking some um, <laughs> some lighter fluid or um, alcohol and you put on yourself with someone light a match. I'm here to tell you that you are stupid. You are, there's no other way to say that. You are S-T-U-P-I-D. Stupid. What I think they need to do is pass a law. If there is an adult around you and they are encouraging this foolishness, whether the person dies who's doing it or they do not die, the person who's encouraging this need to go to jail. They need to be put in jail. I don't get it. Like, <laughs> what are y'all thinking about? Come on. What are y'all thinking about? How far would you go for attention? Get it together. Get it together. My mom's would say it again. Get it together. Get it together. This is not cool. Somebody died for the fire challenge. And to be honest, I don't feel remorse. I mean, I don't want nobody to die, but, like, how can I be sorry when, like, you don't think that fire burned? <laughs> Come on. What about the idiot who was in there getting the fire challenge? I think he fell out the tub or something, or he slipped like, come on. Yeah, dummies.
Y'all looking for sympathy and and that you know over that y'all y'all looking for sympathy? Don't be looking over here for the hours of eight to nine on the hip hop junkie radio show. What was that about? Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> they gonna watch you wilding out with these crickets. I'm like, what is he trying to tell me I'm talking too long? No, oh, he was talking about that's yes. Matter of fact, Latchy, do the honors with the crickets again, because that's what this exactly they will get. Yeah, now hit me up with some fake claps. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Rick Flair style. <laughs> All right, cut. Damn, right on, right on perfect. <laughs> yeah, um, no guests tonight. <laughs> I would like to encourage you artists to give up a call. Anybody who's involved in the show, Hip Hop Junkie War Show 2014, coming up what about 41 days? I put down earlier. I believe like 41 days. Days. Yeah. Yeah. Light you. I'm coming in double. This laptop? I don't hear it now. And how do I turn this down? Can people still hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a little a little technical issue, and we're about to um, straighten that out. What song are we going to play while we do this? Let's play something short, because it's going to take quick to figure it out, eh? Talk about it? Don't talk about it? Payday? Shout out to Payday. Yeah. Y'all, we're about to play. This is a dope song, too. Don't talk about it. Um, He's actually going to perform this at the 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. Yeah, holla at Lachy for the remix. And real quick, y'all, it costs 25 to get in, okay? 25 in advance, 35 at the door. If you know like me, go ahead and buy your, buy your tickets right now. Buy it. Buy it right now. 25 at the door. That, that 35, you don't, I mean, excuse me, 25 in advance. That 35, you really don't want to pay at the door because you can have the extra change. To spend on your drink, cause I know a lot of y'all artists gonna be nervous. Y'all gonna be like, uh, 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 I want to thank my uh, 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 uh. So yeah, keep a little pocket change for a drink. And right now, here we go with what is it called? Don't talk about it. Yeah, by Payday, only on the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show. www.15mofe.com. Yeah. Baby, we don't got all night. No, ain't no time to waste. You say that you want it now, come and get it. Get it girl. Yeah, maybe you're talking now, you gotta hit it. Don't talk about it, be about it, show me some baby. Don't talk about it, be about it, show me some baby. Don't talk about it, be about it, baby. You lay not stress. We lay in a text, that thing a jar, crazy, got me GPS, got that sky to pip, put it in position, she got me diving in that thing, I just might end up missing, she always got that camera with her, throw that ass on the sink, but she ain't taking pictures, real, I just might eat that, I get my Melbourne on, then I, then I hit my dog, I top down, my briefs down, she down, she know it, see, I'm a walking movie, this Yo, for the night, girl, you won't it, no, she bad as hell, cut the lights down, bro, dad, got a bike down, hold on like a python, man, she f*** around, get her down, don't talk about it, be about it, you call it stunt, I call it Brian pumping, you say you want it, girl, come and get it, now lay your pride on my lap, you won't be leaving with it, move. Breaking all the rules, 
kissing all on the body. I give her that D more, more than B more, and I'm Vincent Barter. We supposed to be one nine. You ain't supposed to be that side. You, you, you got a nigga thoughtin' over, and I gotta go get my mind right. That thing wet, I know the body warm, but take, take it off. You put it on with your body call, and I pick it up. She want to work, and I got it on me. We take it slow, call that my slow jam. That looking fat, I call that thing my Rosine. You want a girl? Come and get it. Lay your part of my life. You won't be leaving with it. Say you want a girl. Come and get it. Now lay your part of my life. You won't be leaving with it. Yeah. It's your girl Teach the Right and you tuned in to Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show with Cool Tie. Jika Jika J. Yeah. Well, Junkie Radio Show, and I'm your most host, Cool Tie, Jika Jika J. One, two, one, two, one, two. We are back. Are we on live? Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. We had a little technical issue. Wow, two and two in one night. Wow, as long as it's in the dirt. Sometimes you can't control these things. Excuse me, y'all, while I try to square this away. But yeah, I don't know how much of what they miss. What did I say real quick when I came back? Oh. All right, real quick, I was saying, if it, just in case y'all ain't hear me, I was talking about wanting artists to call up uh, in reference to their performance, okay? All right, honorees, yeah, for the 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. This is going to be something you don't want to miss, you know, because whether you like what I'm doing or you don't like what I'm doing, one thing you can say is this. There's no other place in Jersey that's doing it. So why not come and party with us that night? This is going to be a party. You better believe we're going to party. We're going to eat. We're going to drink, but I'll be drinking this. This is water. <laughs> Look, like she said, me too. He got his bottle. Of We're going to be drinking water. But, well, look, I don't even think I'm messing with sparkling water. Anything that sparkles is just going to be regular H2O. So anybody who's um drinking alcohol at night, go ahead and have a have a drink for me. My birthday will be a couple of days before then, so maybe I can have a birthday toast of me. And no sneaking bottles in this year. Okay, it's a cash bar. It, it will not be allowed. So if you got a bottle or a gallon of Hennessy that you want to sneak in, I mean, if you feel like bringing it, you can bring it. But what's going to happen? One of two things is going to happen. Either your bottle gets left out 
or you in the bottle gets left out. So let's do it right. I talk a lot because I want this done right. There's no other way to do it but to do it. Excuse me. But to do it right. Like we're not we're not doing pants hanging off your butt, exposing your boxers, coming in with your five hundred dollar phone pauses. We we ain't doing all that. Instead of spending five hundred and I can't tell you what to do with your money, but the point I'm making is if you plan on coming and partying with us at the 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show, you need to dress the part. Common questions. Okay, we, we got somebody calling in. Hold on. Let's, let's get it. Latch. Hip Hop Junkie, who are you? Where are you calling from? What up? This is Frank Meadows. I'm calling from a car. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you feeling, man? I'm good. How are you? All right, all right. Hey, check it, man. Real quick now. You just said you're Frank Meadows, and we pronounce you as Frankie Metallis. So Yeah, 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 yeah. So when they so when they introduce you when y'all perform that night, what do we need to call you, man? Cause we got it all mixed up and I had a conversation with um Lachi about this too. Yeah, you could you could call me Frank Meadows. You know what I mean? That's pretty much the simple the simple fly version. Metallis is Spanish for Meadows. Right, and thank you for calling yeah, from the car, man. How does it feel, man, to be one of the three Latinos, man? I'm um, first three receiving Hip Hop Junkie Award, and you're receiving two. So not only are you the first, you're the first one to be, to be receiving more than one. How does it feel, brother? It feels really good, man. I mean, I started I started doing it for a year. You know, I never went to school for it, but I've been I've been loving music my entire life. So it feels good to, to get acknowledged for. Uh, for some, especially with uh, with Lachi, who's such a talented artist himself, you know that uh, we came together and, and put out a project that that you know you, you were able to recognize and that people were able to love at the same time. Yeah, and let's talk about the sign because the sign has won for most impacting song. How did that song come about? Uh, well, that's actually what got me at 15 minutes of fame. Uh, I met up with Lachi. He had this record, and he said, "Look, man, you know I know you you rap and you sing." Uh, we could just do, uh, if you could do a hook for me. So I worked on the hook. Uh, we did it right on the spot. And, uh, then he asked me for a verse and, and, you know, it was really, it was really, really Lachi's, uh, brainchild. Like, you know, I came and he already had everything laid out. I just had to do what I had to do on it. Yeah, that is, that's definitely my song. And, and every time I see you, I always think about the hook. I mean, don't get me to mess up the song, but you got the point, you know? Thank you, brother. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely well, I mean, hook, awesome hooks are my song. thing. I don't know if you've heard, but I'm, I'm pretty good with hooks, man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're actually um, great with hooks, too. And um, I want to talk about um, um, the song, the other award that you're getting. You're getting an award for Best Mix Song. It's called yeah, Outside, right? Is that the problem? Yeah, with uh, with with Lachi and uh, Candice. Yes, Lachi and Candice. She is hip hop. Yeah. Uh, um, how did you end up getting on that song? Did you um, I mean, uh, in terms of mixing down, did you get on that song because, um, by request or you handle every last song on the album, mix down wise? Oh uh, yeah, when when I when I came in the mix, La Lachi just wanted me to pretty much mix every every other one of his songs, and I treated that song like I treated every other one of his songs. You know, it was it was nothing different to the mixture except the, uh, you know, who, who, the people that were on it, the way the song was was vibing, the way I was vibing to it. You know, and it, you know, I just did his entire project. Yeah, uh, another dope song. I'm really surprised they didn't do a video for that too. Def definitely great work on that. You know, all, all the way around. You know. Yeah. I I personally <laughs> believe what I, I personally believe that. An artist comes with the idea, and it's up to the engineer to bring it to life. And with both of those tracks that um, yeah, you are being honored for, you definitely brought it to life, man. Definitely. Yeah, I always say that uh, the artist and the sound engineer, it's it's a collaborative effort between the two. You know, so it's it's the same as as, as if I featured on a on a hook. You know, the mixing is just another portion of it. You still have to be able to vibe out with the artist to see to see where they want to go with it, 
and and then more because sometimes you know the the artists themselves just don't know a hundred percent where the song is supposed to go to make it you know to take it to the next level and that's where the engineer does come in but it's always a collaborative effort between the two and not only are you an engineer you're actually a musician uh, musician you play like what five instruments i play four instruments oh yeah. four okay four all right well yeah. yeah that's beautiful um we could throw your voice in there. They consider that an instrument, believe it or not. So yeah, you play five instruments. <laughs> yeah, like um. Yeah, technically, yeah, vocals are an instrument too, man. Yeah. So hey, we gonna say, um, Frank Meadows plays five instruments. Hey, Latchy, let me hear some more generic claps, please. Hold on, Frank. We about to get some generic claps. Yay! Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Now, yo, did um, did you go to school for any of this stuff? Nope. So you just got a nasty air, man. That's that's a beautiful thing. A lot of people don't have that talent. I just, I mean, aside from the drive of doing it, you know, I did end up having a knack for it. I didn't know that that was something. I never saw myself engineering ever in a million years. I always had other people that that um did it for me. Um, you know, and, and they were very talented people too. Who else? Media Productions. He was one of the people that I always used to go to. You know, one of one of my other boys, Nasty Boy. But um, I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to have complete control over my music. And uh, once my my other you know peers and my friends started listening to the mixes, they were like, you know, I, w I want to come to you. So they started coming to me. And uh, I, yeah, I never went to school for. It. I just wanted to do it. That was it. I wanted to do it, and I did it without fear, and uh, and that's really all I needed. Well, look, thanks for your call. We greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and take this next call. Hip Hop Junkie, who are you? Where you calling from? Ty, what's good? It's Jack Skelly. Yo, what's up, brother? Jack Skelly. How you Skelly. doing, man? Doing great, man. Hey, um, uh, real quick, um, how does it feel, man, coming into the 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show, man? Uh, as a as a as a winner, how does it feel? And I apologize, I don't have my list in front of me. Oh no, hold it! You're you're winning the Keon R. Robinson Lyricist of the Year Award. Yeah, boy, the Lyricist of the Year. It feels it feels amazing, man. It, my my um my ego is a little bigger than usual. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that that's that's a beautiful thing, man. So, are you are you prepared for this right now? Because there's only what about 40, 41 days left, man, to the big night. Uh, I'm prepared. I don't, I don't know exactly what to wear just yet. I gotta, I gotta pick out the right, uh, the right, uh, the right tux. I don't, I don't know. Wow, uh, that, Jack that's Skelly the coming in the tux. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. Yeah, bro. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. That's the only thing I'm, I'm like uh, taking along with. Other than that, I'm good. I have a, I have a nice little space in the living room where uh, the, the award is gonna be at, and, and nice. I have some people ready to go with me, and you know, we, we good to go, bro. Wow, so Harlem's going to be in the building that night? Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Call off your music. We all going together. Off City. All right. Oh, oh um, you know Off City, too, huh? It's my other day one, bro. Since we, We've been rocking out since we were, like, 11 years old. Yeah, you know Off City's taking home six awards this year, right? He's a beast, bro. He's a beast. And, you know, I, I'm very proud to see him you know, win so many awards. He came a long way, man. He really did. And I, I, I watched him become a lyricist. I watched him structure songs and all that. I was in the studio with him at, at the early stages, you know what I'm saying? Like when we was like 15, 16 years old and the projects on the east side just getting it in. You know, me, him, Carl Lovey, and uh, the other uh, members in my crew. But, um, yeah, man, I'm very proud to see him win. Carl Lovey, too. Yeah, yeah, man, definitely, man. They better know, man. Harlem's going to be in the building, man, September 13th, 2014, man. What? Of course, yeah. man, of course. Real hip-hop. <laughs> no doubt, man. I'm I'm just happy that um I was turned on to y'all guys, man, out there because I always believe, and I know people from Jersey City going to be mad. I don't care. But I just always believe that people in y'all area, man, y'all – yeah, do it on a different level, I'll say. Even the videos look different. A lot a lot of videos from there are different, man. Even I mean I, mm -hmm, go ahead. 
No, 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 of course, of course, you know what I'm saying, we, we gotta, we gotta represent, you know, it's the motherland of hip-hop, we gotta, we gotta come correct, you know, video-wise and music-wise and lyrics, they, they always gotta be on point, you know what I'm saying, like, we, we represent the, the mother of hip-hop, I'm a die-hard hip-hop fan, so I don't care where you're from, if you keep it in hip-hop, like, I'm a, I'm a fan of you, like, I got, like, Jersey has is, is been, the, the, been, been uh, what's that called, one of my favorite states, period when it comes to hip hop. You know, right now I'm um I'm filming on what's his name? New Jersey Skills. I don't know if y'all heard of him. I got a couple tracks with him as well. I know my DJ Porter Rock is from Jersey as well too. Oh, I didn't I know Porter Rock was Jersey from Jersey City. I'm so sorry. I didn't know Porter Rock was from um Jersey. He's from Jersey City or Jersey? Nah, he's from Jersey. He's 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 Jersey he's as Jersey as it comes. Why the why the hell thought he was Brooklyn or something? Well, yeah, Porter Rock is always in New York, you know what I'm saying? But he that's thats a Jersey cat right there. I'm i am in Jersey at least every couple of months recording and, you know, showing love. I'm out there a lot, you know what I'm saying? And so you, I love Jersey. And what studio do you record in Jersey City? Well, I, I record with Porter Rock. We went in different places. We, in, we be in um, Elizabeth sometimes, and there's a spot in Jersey City I used to go to as well with my crew. No specific places, you know, just... You know, just the right places. Right, right, right. And apparently they doing well for you, man. Another thing I, I like about, about y'all, like, you know, people over in that area, man, I feel like y'all take it serious. Y'all not afraid to invest in yourselves, man. And this is just a, another hunger. A lot of people over here in Jersey City are just not hungry. They tell you they are. And if you feel like listening to them for an hour and a half, they'll tell you how home they are for an hour and a half. But if you tell them be there in the studio five thirty in the morning, they won't show. Yeah. And well, I just feel like y'all y'all will show if it came to it. And well, you know, I, I, I like I like working with um, hungry, <laughs> humble people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If 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 we're not talking money, I want to exchange connects. I want to exchange clientele. I always want to offer something. And and you know just to just to be humble with it. This is what hip hop is about. It's it's a uh, it's you know hip hop is it's the struggles music. It's it's the poor man's music. It's it's something like that. So you always have to exchange something w- with each other. Be humble and keep working with each other. That and that's what I like to do. And I, I hope I hope I see more cats out of Jersey do it too. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to hear no more about Joe Burns. I want to hear some something else. Someone else out there. Yeah, it would be nice too. No, no disrespect to Joe Buttons, but he never reached me as a as a um, as a MC. Like I, I was never never into his music. But there's a whole lot of people who are. But the crazy thing yeah. is, even though there's a lot of people who I feel like are not really hungry, there are a few who really are, and there's there are some talented people, man, over here. You know, and oh, yeah. And hopefully y'all, y'all get the network, man. And and that's another thing with the Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. I'm hoping for this to be a great networking event slash tool where they can meet oh. a Jack Skelly, a North City, and y'all could just go ahead and build a ticket from there, man. Man, I, I hope so, man. I hope so. I really hope so. I, I love seeing cats doing what they do with, with hip hop. I love, I love the whole movement. I, I, I like that. You know, the real hip hop is actually coming to full surface and it's it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. So I really do hope I can network with a lot of cats out there, man. Take some pictures and, and exchange info and just put each other on and keep it moving from there. Yeah, and I wanna encourage people too. I don't know why people didn't do this last year. Maybe they thought I wouldn't lie, but I'm encouraging everybody, bring a cell phone. Bring a phone with a camera on it. Take all the pictures you could. I want to see that timeline during the Timely Awards. I want to see the timeline flooded like it's an episode of Scandal on that night. You ever seen what Facebook looked like with Scandal on? That's yeah, how yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> when the Hip Hop Junkie Award show is going on, I want it flooded, man. I want every other post to be, oh, did you see what she wore? Did you see? Oh, look. I want that. That's what I want, man. Well, Ty, you know, you, you show a lot of love. So hopefully hopefully they, they show love back. I'm, I know I'm going to be showing love. So I, no doubt. Of course I'm going to have my phone. I know Carl Love is going to have his phone, and <laughs> whoever we with, they're going to have their phone too. City's going to have his phone. So I hope, I hope we broadcast it to everybody and, and our friends our friends with us. I hope the next show is even better than that one and the next one after that, bro. Yeah, exactly, man. Me too. Hey, I want you to give some shout-outs for you, bro, brother. 
Uh, real quick. Well, I'm at the studio right now, so um, let me get a shout out to my my engineer JMR. He's an animal with the mixing. If you if you need any some mixing, some professional mixing, you hit me up personally. I hook you up. All right. Besides that, shout out to the whole KOS called Lovely Music. You know, off city, my people out in Houston, Jason, Beer Fest. They just dropped the video. You can check my timeline, like uh, Jack Skelly Music. Um. You know, just just follow me, Jack Skelly Music. I'm on it. No doubt. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the winner of the 2014 Kiara Robinson, Lyricist of the Year, Jack Skelly. Thank you for your time, brother. You're welcome, brother. Take care, man. All right, now. Lachie, I want you to um, actually yeah. get up that commercial real quick. And, um, oh, we lost the call. Okay, I thought we lost the screen again. Yeah, get up that, that commercial ready. All right, y'all, what we're about to do, we're about to pause for the cause for internet radio station identification. You now tune into the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show, www.15mofe.com. It's the Hip Hop Junkie Award Show with performances by. Have you ever looked in the sky? Latio Science, Frankie Metallic. Like right. Everybody trying to make it. They don't want to give it up. We take it. Story. So Do you understand what? Call it Brian Pumpin. You say you want it, girl. Come and get it. Now lay your pride on my lap. You won't be leaving with it. Move. Payday. Now I break down the seats with every verse that I make But I'm not respected cause I don't floss my cake And now I'm singing on these like that brother Trey I'm shooting jump shots with God While I'm working on my phone and saying why my life He said he's not the father, but it seems so evident. You know you were a virgin, now you're three months pregnant. And Can't so, help, plus a real live performance by. You come cool, time. Chicka, chicka, chicka. The 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. Live at the Polish American Hall in Bayonne, New Jersey, at Broadway and 22nd Street. For tickets and info, call Is unlimited, spit that trip, never no gimmick it. Trying to sell these albums through the numbers that no limit did. Life is like the lotto, never know when you gon' hit it big. Huh? You in the presence of a star, baby. Future mansion in the yacht, living large, baby. Old school Chevy is a car lady. Catch me in the studio, late night bars, baby. Future king of the rap game, recognize. Flip Rick, B.I.G., got you hypnotized. Too many savages, I'ma make them civilized. Feeling myself, I don't know, I'm just living life. Right here back on the west side. Caesar is the name that they 
gave me Product of the 90s that was born up in the 80s Cool to the max, my G, keep it wavy See me on the beach in the island next to Haiti Ain't nobody in New Jersey sounding like this Summertime is mine and I'm finna drop hits So much red, you would think I let it drip But I don't bang in the blood or crip Doing music for the love, but I wanna stack drips Can't even paint the drop, put the rims on the whip Kind of a warrior, swag of a pimp Talk with a stutter and I walk with a limp Think I'm Ice Cube, see my name on a blimp Out here in New Jersey, then I'm heading to Miami See me in LA doing shows up in the valley Ready to the east with a style of some cali On your east, I gon' bring it back And we gon' kill this track Right here back on the west side East side of Swarming G Named up remains a G Right here back on the west side She got a funny kind of music Type of beat that'll make your body start moving Six foes jumping up and down Bass booming on the west coast We gon' hold it down, keep grooving If you know like I know You don't wanna step to this It's a lot she banger Thugged out with a Harlem twist He's walking his mother He's walking his mother He's his mother now we about to hold it down You know we ain't fucking around But she think, baby Two jersey niggas going crazy Fifteen in my web, he pays me Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby All right, y'all, welcome back to the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show, and I am your most gracious host, Cool Time, Chicken Chicken Chicken. And you just got finished hearing new music by Lachio Cyrus featuring Harlem Lamar. And what is the name of that song? Caesar's Funk. Caesar's Funk. And I like the song so much, I'm up there trying to see if I can get a special guest appearance spot in the end of the video. I just want to, I don't know, should I do the look like this? Hold on. Can you catch me standing up, Lachie? My B-Boy sent. Or what about this way? On B-Mob. Hold on. What, which way? Yeah, I gotta be smooth with it. I gotta be smooth with it? It's a smooth track. Look, don't, don't, look, I'm just saying because you know, you know hip-hop in New York, we don't be acting right, even when it's a West Coast track. We still got a mean mug, a, a look crazy. But I don't know, I might have to put on some smooth grown-up gear for that. Although I'm gonna rock a hip hop junkie shirt, so I don't know. I gotta figure it out. It's just gonna be an honor to be in such a dope video. That's all I'm saying. Last video I was in was um, Nina Fox video. Hi, right. let's take this call. Fucking the video. Hip hop junkie, who are you? Where are you calling from? Turn your computer down, please. What's going on? This is B. Stroud calling from the Bronx, New York. Hey, what's up, man? Dax, are we done mess your name all up in, on the, um, on the, uh, the uh, performance announcement? Because we were calling you Strody. You are the heard Stry- Now, Strody, Strody's, one of, Strody's my nickname as well. That's like my family name. It, it, it goes way back. Either one is fine. But look, B. listen. Strody's my stage name, and Strody would be like what everybody would probably call me. But you got to understand, we didn't call you Strody. We called you Strody, and the one that you didn't hear was Strudy. Yeah, I actually got that, but we're not going to play it. I actually got that for real. It says, it performs this by Strudy. <laughs> so it's Strudy. It's wow. cool. It's Strudy, but it's it's all love. It's cool, man. It's cool. Hey, man, first of all, I'm happy that you actually going to be performing there, man. You're going to be the actual first male singer to get up there and get it popping, man. How does it feel, man? It's a great honor. It feels it feels wonderful to be honest. I, I'm super excited every day. I'm waking up. I'm getting ready for it. It feels like it feels like preseason, and I'm getting ready for the season opener. So I, I'm really really excited right now. No doubt. Is there gonna be a beautiful woman on the arms of B. Stroud? I uh, I hope so. One can only hope. We got to see what happens when we show up to the event. But I I got a few prospects in mind. A few beautiful young women that I know that might try to accompany me. So we're gonna see how it works out. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'll roll with something nice. 
That's beautiful. Get there early though so I can get you on that red carpet too, man. Bring her too, man. She ain't got to say nothing but just stand there and look pretty while you speaking to the mic, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. We'll definitely show up. We, we plan on turning up on the red carpet. I'm definitely into fashion, so I'm going to try and come through with something that, a little special. Yeah, I was just about to say, um, you got an idea on what you're um, you wearing? Uh, I, I got some ideas. I can't disclose too much. It's going to be grown. It's going to be sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be mature. Um, but it, but it'll be a little different. It, it'll, it'll be a tuxedo with my own little twist. Right. I was just about to say, you know, for those who's listening, it don't got to be a tux, but I'm wearing a tux. I wore a tux last year, man. I, I feel good with the tux, <laughs> Absolutely. man. Absolutely. I'm trying to boss up. I'm trying to boss up, too. So we got to get the tux going. No doubt, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all could definitely expect to see me in the tux, man. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. You got an idea of what you are performing? You you don't got to leak it. You don't got to leak it out, you know, but I'm just saying you got an idea. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually in the studio preparing something special. It's going to be something a little different. It's going to be a mid-tempo track. I'm going to try and see if we can get the crowd moving with it a little bit. But it's going to be something appropriate for the ladies, something real nice, something uh, just some feel-good music that evening. True. And real quick before you go, what are you working on now? You got any new projects coming out or? Well, right right now I've been hitting a lot of shows. I, I still have two mixtapes that are out right now on Dot Piff. You can listen to my stuff at Love Radio. Uh, that's on Dot Piff. That's my first mixtape. My second mixtape is Fashionably Late, and that can also <laughs> be found on Dot Piff. I don't mean to be locked, um, but that's dope. I'm sorry, that's dope. Fashionably Late. Fashionably Late. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean that that name resonates with me just in a lot of ways. Um, I figured that you know the mixtape that I was working on, I took my time with it. And I was real careful how I crafted that particular uh, body of work. So I called it fashionably late. It was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but it was still right on time. So, No doubt. I mean, uh, that's definitely where, where you can find me. Also on SoundCloud.com, I have a lot of material up there for, uh, you know, my supporters and friends to listen to. So, you know, uh, look for Stouty Music on SoundCloud. You can also type that into YouTube and find some of my material on there. Uh, you know, I just do R&B, man. I do a lyrical brand of R&B. I classify it as hood soul. Uh, my aim is, is to be the male version of Mary J or something like that. You know what I mean? I, I'm influenced by 90s R&B as well as current hip-hop, so I try to blend and fuse those styles, and I, I bring you what I like to call hood soul. Yes, and I definitely heard you, and you are very well on your way to becoming the male version of Mary. Now, what I want you to do is get some shots before you roll. All right. Well, I just want to give a shout out to the Bronx. I want to give a shout out to the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show for always showing me love. Um, I want to give a, a quick shout out to my boy Kenny Dub in the Bronx. I want to give a, a quick shout out to my brother. Actually, my twin brother always got to just shout out the family. Shout out to my mother. Uh, shout out to all of you there at the radio station. And, and also, I just want to give my praise to God because without him, none of this would be possible. And uh, I just want everybody to have a great night. Come to the event. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great environment for independent artists. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, that is B. Straw. Be looking for that, man. The 2014 Hip Hop Junkie Award Show. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Thank you. Uptown. All right. Later, y'all. Peace. Peace. Yeah, man. B. Straw. And all this time, we've been messing up as they talking about Strudy. Strudy. What is it actually Straw? You see what happened? We got to be communicating on Facebook, and and this is why we got to do more than communicate, man, because we got to get people named right, at least. Now, Latchy, I need a nice, energetic song to take us on out of this mother hubba. Let it go? Oh, let it go? Yeah, by most. Yeah. Yeah, how much? Yeah, um, most featuring Chella K. Now, for some reason, I think we messing her name up too. Chella K, C H E L A. Yeah, unless she says it's Chilla or Chilla, that wouldn't be Chilla with a C. That gotta be Chella. So I'm gonna give her a special shout. Shout out to you, Chella K. Beautiful self. I hope most ain't your man. Well, you know what? I guess he went mommy calling you beautiful if he's your man, cause you fine. Then you can sing. With her beautiful cinnamon complexion. Yeah. And if it's cool with the big man who chills high above the sky, I'll see y'all another day, another way. Ha! You're now listening to your What I, what I 
stay for, what am I great for? Work what I jot on paper, got me to wake up, what I say stuck, now they all stun just like Ray Fudd. To my knowledge, I'm the best out, my flow polish, street creds and no college riders, riding for me, no lie, that's what I got us. From a place where there ain't none scared. And ones who live their whole lives here Get a feeling that they still ain't from there I mean, one said a f*** your crew Another f*** saying f*** y'all too Now the city like these mad in the ass What the f*** what the y'all do? With a smirk I'ma say They girlfriend threw a furb on my way Next thing we was on the bathroom sink With her legs to the wall and a skirt by her face While they knocked on the door and the music played Ignore that baby move this way Don't judge me by my foolish days This game's yours but you can play If you complain let it go Tell me head to toe Don't tell your man what he never knew Let's keep this ass we don't ever know And that's real as it gets boy I want two things Your body in a 38 But only one of them special So go I wish we didn't have them. Doctor said he got a heart murmur. My heart problems, I don't have one, but I'm fighting. Hell defines what I've gone through. Nightmares of these young Mike. I don't wanna be John Q to ever let this go. How? I can't, I would never be the parent. I promise I could be, but damn it, to be honest, I'm so down. I sink, but I won't drown. I swim to the coast, found. I smell, but my soul drowns when I really should be so proud. I don't need my mama no more. I got this all on my own. I got a car made of cash, got my own place, it's my home. My son about flies to jet me, not so much, but I'm fine. As long as he got a smell, he'll be the reason for mine. So letting go is a no. I'm Ripping tight for this ride. Wanna see a guy with less fortune and look me right in my eyes. Want me to let it go? Let it go. Better chances killing me. I would say I'm untouchable, but I'm enjoying the fact that you're feeling me. So go. Oh.